It's been quiet. It's going to be quiet this weekend, and I look forward to peace in the south side. Well, the weekend is here, and for the past few months, that's been a time of concern on the south side. But have things really started to change with less chaos, less violence? KDK investigator Andy Sheehan has been looking into that. Andy. Well, Ken, things are quieter here. Some people attribute that to a greater police presence. But District Justice Jean Riccardi cites the temporary closure of one bar in particular. After months of shootings and mayhem, it's suddenly quiet on the south side. The last two weeks, it's been quiet here in the south side. It's been peaceful. No shootings, no fights, no reports of vandalism, no noise. As these pictures show, the sidewalk crowds are greatly diminished. And for the past two weeks, there have been no shootings and few, if any, fights or altercations. Bar owner Rich Kupka, a longtime critic of the city, credits Mayor Ganey and an increased police presence with restoring order. Ganey did a good job bringing, bringing these uh, more cop service saturation. Uh, young cops with the older cops learned uh, crowd disbursement, and it's, it's working out pretty good. But District Justice Gene Riccardi cites another reason. We could point to one thing. Since the closing of Foxtail and the Sky Bar, it's been, it's been quiet here. So is there a correlation? Two weeks ago, Sky Bar, owned by the company Foxtail, voluntarily closed after a video went viral, showing a woman permitting herself to be sexually violated. The owners of the bar met last week with investigators from the district attorney's office and agents from state liquor control enforcement. Riccardi is questioning why LCE hasn't issued any citations. Why isn't there a citation on this incident? This is embarrassing. But it's not clear that any agency will take action. In a statement, the LCE says lewd conduct and indecent exposure doesn't fall within its enforcement powers. And city police say while they are talking with the owners about their operation, there is no ongoing investigation. Myself, I like to see that bar permanently closed. But while things have quieted down, the south side may be a little too quiet. Business is down substantially, and those business owners want responsible customers to come back. Have fun, enjoy the music, have some beverages, enjoy the food, but don't bring your criminal behavior to the south side of Pittsburgh. Well, I reached out to Sky Bar for comment, but haven't yet gotten one. The bars that remain open, they want business, but they want the right kind of business. Reporting live on the south side, Andy Sheehan. KDK News.